Today I'm going to talk about children's wagons. This is the panel wagon that Harbor Freight should be selling. This is the Harbor Freight Bigfoot panel wagon on top with a steel mesh deck wagon suspension underneath it to make an improved children's wagon. I do a two-part video to show how I take a Bigfoot panel wagon and add the suspension from the steel mesh deck wagon or garden wagon to it to make an improved wagon. If you find this video helpful, check out my channel, the Siles Automotive channel, for other general automotive, troubleshooting, and modification videos. This wagon with this suspension I'll show you the leftover parts with this suspension and cheap sheet metal front steering has a tendency to tip it has a short handle and tongue on it so that my foot hits the tire in the front so with the steel mesh garden wagon tongue and handle on it it gives you a much longer and stronger tongue so it puts the wagon further away from you when you turn the wagon the wagon doesn't have a tendency to tip let me show you the main feature that I dislike on this wagon is this center pivot front suspension when you do that and you turn to the side, the wagon has a tendency to tip. Where the garden wagon, it doesn't center pivot, it pivots out on the wheels. So it's less likely to tip. That's the main feature. The other thing is the way this is mounted to the bottom of the wagon right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I'll pull on the tongue of the wagon, but the, the whole wagon flexes. It's, it's a sheet metal chassis on it. There's no frame. I don't like that. Another thing I don't like is the tongue length. When I'm pulling on it, my foot hits the tire right here. Or the tire hits my foot when I'm pulling on it. So the garden wagon has a little bit longer tongue to it. It's a stronger tongue. It has a cushioned handle. And it's much more robust instead of this tiny little handle that barely fits my hand it's got a big wide handle so those are the reasons i'm going to convert my wagon into a, a heavier suspension another design consideration this panel wagon costs about 60 bucks from harbor freight with uh, just on sale without any of the the discounts the garden wagon costs about $80 on sale and I used a 20% off coupon today to purchase this one so I got it for about 60 bucks so I went from a $60 wagon to a $120 wagon I don't know to me it's worth it the extra the extra features of uh, not being so tippable and having a longer handle on it another design consideration when uh, this last weekend, when we were using the wagon, my wife put the, the panel wagon up into the truck. So I don't want this wagon to be too heavy that she can't lift it in the truck. If uh, it is too heavy, she won't use it or I'm going to have to be with her when we use it and I'm going to have to be the one that loads it and unloads it out of the truck. So this wagon, this Bigfoot panel wagon, she can lift it into the back of the truck by herself. Okay, so I just weighed the wagon with both the front and rear suspension modifications. The wagon is now at 31.2 pounds or 14.15 kilograms. That's a weight increase of 6.8 pounds or 3.08 kilograms. I don't think that's, uh, that's significant. Um, I think my wife can lift 31 pounds. But again, the, it's kind of an odd shape, so she might have a little bit of trouble. We'll see if she can put it in the back of the truck 
if that uh, is the case and it's a success I don't see a lot of deformation in the floor when I play with it you well know, the weak spot the weak part of this design now of course is this middle of the pan is flexible somewhat you know it's got a heavier suspension but it still doesn't have a frame under it the advantage of this though is you can buy two wagons and have a much better wagon that front suspension is so much better than that previous center steering suspension that was on this little red wagon we're going to work on some product testing and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Look in the video description for more information. I am much happier with the way this steering works. It's so much nicer, so much smoother than what it was before with that cheap suspension underneath the wagon.